Hello students, welcome back to another video on MA English Entrance Exam Preparation. Now we are going to understand this attitude of our exam through a simple basic question that I'm going to do with you in detail in today's video which was also asked in your last year's question paper. I have time and again repeated in my previous videos as well why and how conceptual understanding of any given topic is extremely important when you're preparing for an exam like this. Now let's look at the question. It says given below are two statements. So we have two statements. One is statement one. Poetry according to Plato is thrice removed from reality. And statement two says poetry according to Plato is the mother of all lies. In the light of the above statements, choose the correct answer from the options given below. So you have four options. Both statement 1 and statement 2 are correct. 1 and 2 are incorrect. 1 is true but 2 is incorrect. And 1 is false but 2 is correct. Now these are two basic statements related to Plato. The idea is if they ended up asking you these statements, in last year's question paper, it does not necessarily mean that they are going to ask you similar thing or similar idea in your next year's question paper as well. Which is why I am asserting so much on the need to look into details of any set of important topics. So basically, you cannot understand Plato without understanding who Socrates was, what his contribution was, what he said, and again, you cannot understand Plato if you do not know who Aristotle was and what all concepts did he follow. So studying things in sync takes you to places and helps you solve questions in the most genuine way possible. So it is as simple as this. We have Socrates first, who has his own set of varied concepts. Socrates is then followed by Plato, who again has his own set of varied concepts. And Plato is then followed by Aristotle, who has his own set of varied concepts again. Now, who was Plato? Plato was a philosopher in classical Greece and the founder of Academy in Athens, the first institution of higher learning in the Western world. Born on 27th May 427 BC, Plato became a disciple of Socrates when he was just 20 years old. Now let's come to our first question where statement one was, poetry according to Plato is thrice removed from the reality. Now to understand statement one, we must know a concept which is called the concept of imitation or mimesis as given by Plato. Wherein you should know two things. One, he said that everything which is on transcendental plane is alone real. Every other thing which is earthly, which is on material plane are mere copies of the things that are situated on transcendental level. Now to make your concepts more clearer, if you don't know what is the difference between transcendental and material plane, I'll explain you that as well. Now to understand the reality of this world, why we all exist, we must know that every other thing that's happening around us or that is there in front of us takes place only through two ways or there are two levels to understand anything that's there on this earth in the world that we are living in constantly day by day minute by minute second by second so this can be understood through two levels that plato here is talking about the transcendental plane and the material plane because there's a concept of house let's say in god's world or on transcendental plane there's a concept of house in our world as well which is the material plane because maybe there's a concept of celebration on transcendental plane or in God's world there is a concept of celebration in our world as well because there's a concept of mourning in God's world as well or on transcendental plane there's a concept of mourning in our world as well so that's how Plato divides everything this is the first step towards understanding what this whole process mimesis or imitation is the first step is to understand that everything here is divided into two planes the transcendental 
and the material so what here plato is trying to imply that every other thing that we have that we see or whenever we think of yeah, i write a beautiful piece of poetry and i think wow what a lovely piece it is plato is saying no he says that everything is already coming from transcendental plane or maybe i think oh i'm so beautiful the whole idea of beauty comes from some heavenly realm so none of our ideas or whatever we do right is ours so the first step towards understanding the concept of imitation or mind messages as given by plato is to understand that nothing is original nothing is mine or nothing is yours everything is already coming from transcendental plane so in that way everything on this realm is a copy of copies and that's how he puts it that poetry is a copy of copy of a copy that is thrice removed from the reality because in any which way every other thing according to plato is a copy of copy but because poetry takes you away from the reality it's thrice removed from the reality so statement 1 is absolutely correct and statement number 2 is poetry according to plato is the mother of all lies and why would he say that because plato believed that poetry has no knowledge of truth it's just there for appearances just there for illusions and moreover it corrupts the minds of young people and once their minds are corrupted they will not and they will never situate themselves on the bigger plane or the transcendental plane that plato puts up again and again so statement 1 and statement 2 both of them are absolutely Okay I will end this video here but I will come up with more such videos and more such explanations on that note I am providing our complete playlist on AIM English entrance exam preparation in the description box given below you can check out the link which is provided in the description box given below to join our MA English entrance exam classes you may call or whatsapp us at Double eight six five zero two double eight six five, or log on to finlandacademy dot com for any information related to our courses. Thank you for joining me. I will see you soon in my next video. Take care, till then.